what's good with y'all boys man it's your boy jr is coming to y'all with another video you already know what to do drop a like comment subscribe hit that notification bell we're gonna get straight into the video so look we got danger zone series two packs and we're gonna get straight into the cards y'all already know i'm gonna be letting you guys know you know if the cards are worth it or not and guys remember when you go to open these packs you only got a two percent chance to pull a card from the pack so open the packs at your own risk don't just be running around trying to pull packs thinking you're gonna actually pull a card you only have a literal two percent chance what of pulling a card so do it at Bro, your own what are you risk talking about, but man? um yeah taking a look at the superstar cards that's actually in there we'll start from the top and then go you know obviously go down further um special finisher for bret hart is not that bad um but he does have a great set of badges thing like a b and space invader so you know that's going to make him a very usable card obviously um his finisher is actually a submission so you know the sharpshooter if you don't know the sharpshooter man and you watch wrestling what is going on and i think we have an eve torres that kind of has the same card art as her ruby from the bad news you uh set so that's actually pretty funny zero zero like the funniest thing with 2k is that they just always just show their they're just non-ability to just have any kind of effort. It's funny. They're just trying to make the most money possible and be as lazy as possible. So it's hilarious to see. Um, the Eve Torres, I'll say, she is going to be one of the best cards in the game. Literally because she has Sting Like a Bee um, and Heavy Handed. I don't know what's going on with that. Then we got King Nakamura, um, Sting Like a Bee. One thing I notice about the cards now, guys, they, they've just been plastering every single card with Sting Like a Bee. So, I mean, once the card has that, they're serviceable but especially even his big e because his special and his uh finisher um is actually a 93 so he's gonna be actually really really good to use um has the second win badge kind of like a recovery defensive badge in a way and then from here i think the cards the, you know there may be some gems like anything with like a b to it is gonna be pretty good um finishers are kind of like at a good rate right now this one's his badge is better be good i'm like what the hell is going on oh uh, i mean he should have had heavy handed also like once the stats are that low in terms of like the special and finisher they should definitely have higher badges um i don't okay so these guys must be a tag team brutus creed julius creed they must be a tag team or something um badges are definitely not good wet blank or well nah it's pretty decent pretty decent finisher is terrible so those tag teams their finisher is terrible um always see it come pretty decent so yeah from here the cards kind of is you know it's kind of just gonna get a little bit off if i'm being honest and then i don't know what i don't know what is going on here like i'm looking around now like what are these cards bro i'm like what the hell is going on i don't know what's going on akira tozawa nothing man so yeah nothing nothing really serviceable coming from the cards from here on out um it's gonna be a bunch of trash from here um, and we're only paying attention to badges and realistically speaking none of them have any good badges man like i'm being real honest right here like none of them have good badges so not worth it is you know not are these cards worth it to buy vc and open up personally i would say I, and i don't even know why doing the clown is not i don't know why they don't have an actual picture of him and they have like the game version of him i'm not sure what's up with that but who knows man um yeah these packs i would say are not worth it i don't think the diamonds are good enough i think they kind of just got rolled out to be honest um i would hit open a single pack of these so stay away from these packs, guys um you know and it's just as simple as that uh the current state of wwe it is what it is like i said before it is what it is um they essentially made the exact same game just added quick play to it and quick play is just literally unplayable so i mean that's just tell you know tell you a good portion of the story but i haven't been able to update my team i haven't been able to do really anything at all because there hasn't been any incentive to you know grind for token market diamonds because none are available and then the bat you know the cards that are in the packs are not good and if there is a card that you want like a Eddie guerrero from the latino heat pack guess what you got to collect every single card from the set so now you got to break your bank account just to get a virtual card and use them against ai so this game is really useless right now i'm not gonna lie to you um so play it with caution and spend your money with caution but um yeah y'all do me a favor drop a like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll catch y'all boys in the next video peace Gang, they cannot do it like him uh, uh -huh. nobody's doing like him Gang, nobody's doing like him